All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about network encryption protocols, IPsec, SSH, TLS. Let's go! All right, welcome back. We are talking network encryption or network encryption protocols. Some examples of network encryption protocols are things like IPsec, SSH, and TLS. So why are network encryption protocols relevant? Why do you care? Well, essentially, if you are transmitting data over a network and you want to, one, secure it in the sense that you don't want anybody to see your data, or two, you want to send the data maybe in the clear, but you want to ensure that no one modifies it in transit. Encryption protocols can do that for you, and they can do it in both multiple ways. So if you're connecting maybe a network to a network, or you're connecting just a host to a server, they can provide a way to ensure that secure communication. And they do it through encryption and sometimes hashing. So these are used anytime you use a VPN. If you're using SSL or uh, HTTPS is a, is a common uh, one if you're browsing the internet, that communication from client to server is secured through some type of encryption protocol, um, which governs the way that the, the data is encrypted. It governs the way the key exchange happens. It ensures the integrity of the data during transmission. And that's about it with network encryption protocols. There's a lot of stuff you could go into with encryption protocols, how they work and operate. But for this video, we just want to cover the high level. Why do you need it? And what do you get? Uh, and that's about it. So if I said anything in this video that you go, hey, I'd love to know more about that. Make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.